Here's how each Blackpink member was discovered and signed to YG Entertainment. Blackpink members all came long ways to stand where they do now. Blackpink was the first girl group to emerge from YG Entertainment since 2NE1 in 2009. Blackpink is the agency's only girl group now that 2NE1 has disbanded. Teddy, a well-known producer at YG Entertainment, was in charge of creating and producing the group and its bops. So, how did the four Blackpink girls get to this point? Take a look at their individual success stories. Rosé. Rosé's father played a significant role in her debut. When he learned about the 2012 YG Entertainment audition in Australia, he purchased a ticket for Rosé to attend. I grew up in Australia. It was more of a rural neighborhood than a city. So I stayed at home, singing and playing the piano or guitar. My father noticed that I enjoy music and took me to an audition. Music had been a hobby before I auditioned, but once I arrived in Korea and realized where I stood in terms of skills, I became more passionate and competitive about it. Rosé. Rosé was a new face when she was revealed to the public as the final member of Blackpink after the shortest period of training. While she appeared in G-Song Dragons Without You in September 2012, her identity was unknown at the time of the album's release. Rosé is now a well-known main vocalist for Blackpink. Fans adore her distinct voice, which gives Blackpink a distinct sound. Jenny. Jenny moved from Seoul to New Zealand as a study abroad student when she was 10 years old. She was interviewed by MBC for one of its documentary programs while a student at ACG Parnell College in Auckland, New Zealand, making her the first of the group to have appeared on television. In an interview, Jenny stated that she listened to a lot of K-pop while in New Zealand and aspired to be an entertainer. Jenny told her mother that she wants to be a musician as she prepared to move to the United States to further her international education. Jenny traveled to Korea and began auditioning, specifically at YG Entertainment, where she had always wanted to train since her days in New Zealand. Jenny joined YG Entertainment as a trainee in August 2010. During her trainee period, Jenny received a lot of attention and even gained some fans after appearing in G Music Dragon's video, That XX, in 2012. With this exposure, Jenny rose to become one of YG Entertainment's most well-known trainees. Following that, she appeared in several songs by YG Entertainment artists, including Lee High's Special, Say Angry's GGB, and G Dragon's Black. Fans were overjoyed to learn that Jenny would be making her debut as an official member of Blackpink. Jenny later admitted on Knowing Bros that she didn't think she'd ever make her debut and was terrified. She is now adored by fans and fashion brands alike for her stunning visuals and sheer talent. Lisa. Lisa has been a dancer since she was a child. She was a member of a dance crew in Thailand, where she was born and raised. During an interview, she stated that she wanted to be a performer because she enjoyed singing and auditioned at the 2010 YG Entertainment auditions in Thailand. Lisa was the sole person to pass the audition in 2010. In April 2011, she joined YG Entertainment as a trainee. Lisa stated that when she first arrived in Korea in 2011, she knew no Korean. Lisa worked hard to learn Korean by taking classes every day, despite the language barrier, and thanked the members for their assistance in adapting to the new language. YG Entertainment released a video of Lisa dancing in 2012 without revealing her identity. Lisa demonstrated great potential in dance, as seen in the video, and Yang Yun Suk has repeatedly praised Lisa's abilities. Lisa appeared in Taeyong's Ringa Ringa music video in 2013, and despite only dancing in the background, her face became more well-known. She has also been a model for YG's street fashion brand NONA90N since 2015, alongside icons B.I. and Bobby. She was finally revealed to be an official member to debut with Blackpink after gradually building up her fanbase through these activities during her trainee days. Lisa said her parents were overjoyed when she finally made her debut after supporting her career pursuit for six years. Lisa is now the only foreigner to make her debut with YG Entertainment. Jisoo. In an interview, Jisoo stated that everyone in her family, including herself, enjoys singing. Jisoo's family would compliment her when she danced and sang in front of them during family gatherings. This fueled Jisoo's desire to perform in front of a larger audience, prompting her to begin auditioning. 
Jisoo recalled that when she auditioned for YG Entertainment, Yang Yun Suk noticed the ring on her finger and asked if she was dating anyone, despite the agency's strict no dating policy. Jisoo joined YG Entertainment as a trainee in July 2011 because of his potential and visual. Jisoo revealed on an episode of Radio Star that as a trainee, she was scouted by an SM Entertainment casting agent while attending a YG Entertainment concert. She had to decline the offer because she had already signed with YG Entertainment, but Jisoo clearly had the looks of a potential K-pop star. Young Yun Suk revealed Jisoo's picture, without her name, in May 2012, with the caption, Who's that girl? And hinted she is a trainee in line to debut with the new girl group that he first mentioned in 2010. Then, in January 2013, YG Entertainment announced Jisoo as an official member of the aforementioned new girl group. Jisoo appeared in several TV commercials, music videos, and even AK drama during the five years she was a trainee prior to the group's debut in August 2016. Regarding this, fans joked, Jisoo has experience with everything except debuting. Jisoo promoted a mobile game, a suitcase, a smartphone, a school uniform, and a Nikon camera as the brand model while training with YG Entertainment. She also appeared in the music videos of Epic High and High Suhyun. She also appeared with Sandra Park and IU in the popular K-drama The Producers. When Blackpink debuted on August 8, 2016, fans fell in love with Jisoo, both for her talent and her appearance. Jisoo and the other three members received multiple commercial contract offers as soon as the group debuted.